With the new World One system, it's important that you let your RO membrane saturate before you just take it to a job and start to clean windows and expect to get perfect results. RO membranes can vary in the amount of time they require to become fully saturated and actually work 100% to where they should be. So when you first get your system, simply hook up a garden hose to the inlet, let the system build pressure, run for 10 to 15 minutes. Then just turn the water off, disconnect, and let it sit. Sometimes it can take up to 12 hours for an RO membrane to become completely saturated with water and to actually begin working as it should. So again, don't expect to take this system or any system right out of the box and bring it right to the job and have it work perfectly. You're just gonna exhaust your DI resin if you do that. So let the system run for 10 or 15 minutes and then let it sit, preferably overnight. That's gonna give you the best results for your money. The supplied TDS meter with the World One will tell you when you need to change your DI resin. You should change your resin at about 10 parts per million. You can let it go a little bit longer, but 10 parts per million is a good rule of thumb to avoid having to go back and clean spots off windows left from water that's not 100% pure. So TDS meter tells you that you're over 10 parts per million. Let's change your DI resin in here. Use this supplied large filter wrench. Come down to the bottom of the unit here. Brace it, give it a twist. Once the lower half of the DI housing is removed, you can then take out the refillable DI cartridge. This is a small 10 inch DI cartridge that come in 10 inch as well as 20 inch. So right off the bat, you'll notice that there are two different ends on this. This has a black rubber gasket. This end does not. This is the end that needs to go back in the unit towards the top of the housing. To change your DI resin, just unscrew, remove the foam filter. If you look inside, you'll see there is a sediment filter. Clean all of the DI resin out of here, rinse it out, and then simply scoop replacement, virgin, or regenerated resin back into this cartridge. Put our little foam filter in. Put the cap back on. You can drop the filter back in the housing. Use a supplied lubricant to lubricate the O-ring. And just like the carbon pre-filter, get it back on by hand. Do not over tighten or it will get stuck. Simply brace the system a little bit and tighten it down by hand. Maintaining a World One is really, really simple. Out of the three filters on here, two need to be changed with some frequency. First is the carbon pre-filter. You should change your carbon pre-filter whenever you get a clog, notice the water just stops or has a significant slowdown in production, or about 5,000 gallons or two months. It's one of the filters you should absolutely have on hand. They're non-proprietary. You can get them from windowcleaner.com. You can even find them locally. It's just a carbon filter. So supplied is a small pre-filter wrench. Loosen that a little bit. And then just by hand, take the bottom of the housing off, get rid of your old spent carbon filter. Couldn't hurt to clean it out too, any kind of sediment that builds up in there, just clean out. Put a new one in, use the supplied lubricant to lube up the O-ring seal inside here and put it back together. Just because a filter wrench is included does not mean you need to tighten this down anything more than a good snug hand tight. Um, more often than not, you can use this to kind of break it free from being over tightened, but brace the system, give it a good hand tight. It's not gonna go anywhere and it's totally air and water tight. 